Welcome back to Red Horn Society. And today I wanted to go over with y'all a topic that I think is quintessential to anybody's experience level becoming heightened in outdoor living, hunting, traditional archery, and just life in general. And that's, uh, that's building your library and educating yourself as well. At the end of the day, there's only so much that you can learn by watching people's videos and their interpretation on things and activities that you might enjoy. Therefore, it is quintessential to ever expand your mind and make your brain bigger by reading great books by excellent authors with remarkable penmanship. And a couple, and a, some of the books I'd like to go over with y'all are very near and dear to my heart. And I think that it's any any hunter or outdoorsman's library is uh, is greatly at a loss if these books aren't in them. Now, the first couple ones I want to go over with might already be known by some of y'all, but some of y'all might not have already gone over some of them. And uh, books written by or about Fred Bear. One of them in particular is I Remember Papa Bear. It's written by Dick Latimer. Dick Latimer was a very close uh, friend of Fred Bear's and an essential piece to Fred Bear's success through his company and his hunts. And uh, most of this is, uh, is, is penned by Dick Latimer. And uh, he explains and goes into great depth and detail about a lot of the hunts that he had been a part of and, and a lot of the memories that he had of Fred Bear. And it is an awesome read. Another one, if you can get your hands on it, this one is a pretty rare book. I got lucky and found this at a half price books one time. But uh, this is a very, very awesome read. And this is uh, Fred Bear's Field Notes. It was, uh, it was probably written in the late 60s early 70s though i'm not exactly sure but it's basically uh the majority of the book is fred bear's journal entries from various hunts that he went on around the world everywhere from africa to india north america the uh the arctic northern polar cap when he was on his, his polar bear hunts and this is an awesome awesome read not only is there a great deal of information to be obtained in either one of these books but at the same time when you read this book especially, you feel like you're really a part of Fred Bear's hunts. You feel that you're really there with him. Another one that I, that I would really like to go over too is one of my favorite traditional authors right now where I'm at is uh, Brian J. Sorrells. And uh, this one is his book that he had written on traditional bow hunting for whitetails. Awesome read. His, uh, his way that he authors his books and the detail that he goes into in his books is just absolutely astounding and it's not boring you know there's a lot of books that you read where people you know it feels like it's a, a, a ongoing of run-on sentences and this one he just really does a great job of keeping you captivated and keeping you interested in all the material that he goes over in this book another one i've let it out to a friend but i want to go over to with you as well is a book written by brian j sorrells is uh his book beginner's guide to traditional archery which he just goes very in depth to uh, everything from choosing your first bow to uh, bear shaft tuning. Uh, he goes so in depth, and by the end of that book, you'll 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 be such a tremendous, uh, tremendously better archer in the traditional arts. At that point, another book that can't go unmentioned by any stretch of the imagination would be Byron Ferguson's *Become the Arrow*. Uh, Byron Ferguson is one unbelievably accomplished traditional archer. He shoots a longbow from Alabama, and his uh, his interpretation on archery is second to none. I highly respect his opinion, and I highly respect his uh, his educational practices that he utilizes in traditional archery and in introducing newer people to traditional archery. But Byron Ferguson's become the arrow. The Art of Modern Day Bear Bow Shooting is an unbelievable find, or an unbelievable book. It's readily available at most, uh, most retailers, Barnes and Nobles, and what have you, and especially Amazon.com. Another one, for somebody who wants to dive a little deeper into the mechanics and the art of making and, and knowing about making traditional archery equipment will be the uh, traditional bow, boyers or bowyers encyclopedia um, I've gotten about halfway through this book but I've, I've really 
really enjoyed the reading that I've done on it thus far. And then uh, for anybody who's who's definitely wanting to expand their horizons on uh, on bow making and bow history, the history of the bow, bow and arrow making as well as string making with uh, modern day and ancient methods, uh, the traditional bow, Boyer's Bible or Bowyer's Bible. Uh, it's a it's a four part series. There's four volumes. And uh, they are absolutely great reads. But any of these books here would be a fine addition to anybody's hunting library. I highly suggest any one of these. Uh, if you want to learn more about them and just get more in depth. I mean, the, the moment I think I know everything there is to know about archery, which has never come. But times where I might have felt that I've crept up on it. I'll find one of these books, crack them open for the first time. And once again, my mind becomes blown. And I realize how insignificant my existence is to the vast history of archery in general and how long it's been around. So with that being said, I hope y'all take something from this and I hope y'all grab some of these books. I think you'll greatly enjoy them. Thank you once more for all the support that we've gotten for the Red Horn Society thus far. Like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay tuned for our website that will be launching before long. From all of us at Red Horn Society, thank you again. Red Horn Society, out.